Hello and welcome. I have spent years working with Python professionally, whether it's in data science, financial or quantitative analysis, trading or statistics. I know how to write efficient Python code, and I've always been able to transfer those skills easily to other interpreted languages like JavaScript and R. But at some point I started thinking, how does Python actually work under the hood? The language itself is high level, but a huge part of it, from NumPy to Python's own interpreter, is built in C. That's what made me curious. If so much of Python's performance relies on C, then learning it would give me a deeper understanding of how the tools I use every day actually work. So about three weeks ago, I decided to start learning C. Not because I need it, but because I wanted to see programming from a different perspective. And I hope by the end of this video, I can get you to give it a shot too. I've known about Python's trade-offs for years. I know it abstracts memory management, that it's dynamically typed, and that its performance relies on underlying C implementations like NumPy and Pandas. But knowing something and experiencing it firsthand are two different things. When you write C, you have to think about every detail how memory is allocated, how data is stored, how functions execute at the hardware level. It forces you to deal with things that Python takes care of automatically. And that's exactly why I wanted to learn it. Even though I've only been writing C for three weeks, I'm already seeing programming differently. First, memory management becomes real. I've always known Python abstracts memory but manually allocating and freeing memory in C really drives home why that abstraction exists. 2. Pointers change the way you think about data. I knew Python variables were just references, but working with raw memory addresses in C makes me appreciate how much Python handles in the background. 3. Debugging feels like a different discipline. In Python, debugging is straightforward. Stack traces, clear error messages. In C, a bug can just mean a crash and tracking it down feels more like detective work. 4. Python's performance trade-offs are more concrete. I've always understood why Python is slower, but now I see it clearly. Every interpreted operation, every dynamic allocation, every garbage collection pause, it all adds up. So, do I need C for my job or also for YouTube? No. But learning it is already making me a better Python developer. I can write more efficient Python because I understand where its slowdowns come from. I appreciate how much Python does for me, but I also know when lower level control is worth it. And if you've ever used machine learning frameworks, financial modeling libraries or even pandas, guess what? They are all powered by C. So to go over some downsides, C isn't all fun. So some struggles along the way. C code is verbose. What takes one line in Python might take 10 lines in C. Memory management is a constant responsibility and also liability. You free memory too early, crash. Forget to free it, memory leak. There's just no safety net. And most importantly, it is not immediately practical for my work. So Python is still the best tool for AI trading automation. C is great for understanding fundamentals, but I wouldn't use it for day-to-day -day tasks. Might also be related to that I'm just bad at C coding at the moment. But I promise you, I will get way better until the latest end of this year. Now, should every Python developer learn C? No. If Python does everything you need, you're fine. But if you've been coding in Python for years, such as myself, and want to challenge the way you think about programming, C might be one of the best ways to do it. For me, this isn't about switching languages at all. It's about gaining a deeper understanding of how computers actually work. And if you've ever considered learning C, I'd say go for it. It's tough, but it forces you to think about programming in a way no high level language does. So let me know in the comments that I convince you. Are you looking into C or do you stick with Python?